Mr. Cameron, same question. Could well, you explain your opposition or support to a work requirement? Well, the governor keeps talking about these businesses opening, but the fact of the matter is we don't have the workforce to fuel these plants and these facilities and these new hospitals that are coming online. I mean, right now there is a 22% vacancy as it relates to nurses in terms of a nursing shortage. This is largely because, and we do have the lowest workforce participation rate in this Commonwealth's history, and it is because of the policies of this governor. For the decision that he has made is to expand our welfare roles and tell folks to stay at home. And then to add insult to injury, he had an unemployment office that was not providing unemployment uh, funding to those people that were staying at home. Now they are still there, not working, and you all that are working, whether you're at home or here today, are subsidizing that. We need a governor who will be a work first governor. That will be me. We'll get this Commonwealth moving and working again because it is the right thing to do when we have some of these plants and projects coming online. Governor Bashir, your right to a rebuttal. And once again, the Attorney General isn't telling it straight. We have the most jobs filled ever in the Commonwealth, the lowest unemployment rate we've ever seen. And trying to blame people that through no fault of their own have lost their jobs and, and seek benefits is wrong. If you look at the last month we have the data for right now, August 2023 versus 2019. In 2023, we have less than half the filings for unemployment than we did in 19. People are getting to work. It's exciting. This is the best economic role we've ever been on. 